Hey everybody, it's Missy Wolf, and we're coming to you live from CMA Fest 2018, day three. We're at Piranhas with Caitlin Baker. How are you? I'm doing great. Surviving the heat. You are. <laughs> and boy, can you belt out a song. Your performance on stage just now, holy cow. Thank you so much. When did you discover it. you had that much like power in your lungs? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, my mom and dad always gave me a hard time. They said that I kind of screamed, you know, for a long, long time when I was a little kid, and so that's the reason why I have you know, big old lungs to sing, but I've, um, I grew up singing in church, and I was petrified, mm -hmm. like, didn't think I would really do music um, full time and as a career, but it's just something that I really have been passionate about for a long time. Mm -hmm. My family's always been involved in music, so here I am. Well, that's great, and what a good way to start out at the church, because you have, you already right there have the most supportive audience, right? Exactly, and I have such supportive parents, so I just feel so blessed that I've been you know, throughout this journey, they've always been by my side, you know, 100%. Right. Now, did they get to come with you to CMA Fest, or no? Did they avoid the crowds <laughs> and the heat? They were going to be here, but some stuff came up. But they okay. would most definitely be cheering me on, you know, oh, right in the front. Oh, definitely, <laughs> definitely. I know the, the heat outside right now, people are having fun. They're crazy. They're meeting their fans, or they're, they're, they're meeting the fans. They're meeting the artists that they're fans of. <laughs> oh my goodness. See, he the gets to me too, right? Yeah, the sun, sun got to us all. <laughs> have, do you have a, a favorite part of CMA Fest that you like as a fan versus an artist and vice versa? Well, I have been to CMA Fest as just a fan, watching mm -hmm. artists, and I've also been as an artist performing. So I think it's really cool that I've been able to kind of like see both sides of it. Um, for artists, you know, it's tough because they have a huge, it's just a, a very eventful week. Right. So um, it's always fun, though, to see people come and watch your shows. And, you know, right. fans are, country music fans are the best. They are, and they sing along with everything, and they pick up the songs so fast. Yes, they do. And then they don't let them go. They, <laughs> no. like, when they meet you in those meet and greet lines, mm -hmm. they're that, they're hooked. Yes. And they're your fan forever, and they watch you continue to grow, mm -hmm. and they come back year after year. And I've been seeing it all week, and I yeah. absolutely love it. And I know I'm taking over a little bit, but my favorite part is watching the interaction between the artist and the fan, yes. especially when they come back mm -hmm. or they have a really emotional story to share with an artist. Yeah. Have, have you been on the receiving end of any of those stories yet? I have. So my song Blackbird was inspired by um, a very, very tragic event in my life. Um, my guitar player and best friend was killed by a drunk driver on New Year's. So having a song mm -hmm. where I'm not directly necessarily talking about um, drinking and driving mm -hmm. it is a song about the person that he was and so it's mm -hmm. very special to me so to be able to talk about that openly I've had a lot of people come to my shows and mm -hmm. you know tell me about their loss and what right. that song meant to them and so yeah it's definitely I think one of my it's definitely a favorite part to be able to have that kind of interaction with fans and for them to be able to tell you stories that are so meaningful. Absolutely, and fans, that they look for that. Yeah. They look for those connections to artists, and when you can give them something that they can hold on yeah. to, that they can remember a loved one, that they can think about somebody who's not there anymore, mm -hmm. that's so special for yeah. them because not every, not every artist can do that. Mm -hmm. not, not every song has that same effect from one person to another. Yeah. So those those intimate connections, they're so important, they're so they special. They definitely are. Well, and that song is the title track of your new yes. album, right? Blackbird. I'm excited about it. <laughs> I love it. So what inspired this entire album? Well, it was in a very eventful process for this album, but you know, once I finally had all the songs done and I knew which ones that I felt like should go on the EP, um, it was pretty much a breeze after I got into the studio and started um, working on all of this other stuff. But like the photo shoot was so much fun. You know, I had these big old wings on. No, I so I got it. to be really Look at, creative. I'm going to show you guys the back side of it <laughs> so you can see. It's great. Oh my yeah. gosh, I love and it. And on the inside, that's that's the huge. Oh, I that's call them the huge. Victoria's Secret wings. Yes, <laughs> look at those wings. <laughs> so, I mean, it was just so much fun to be able to have so much creative control over from the photo shoot to the music to the songs and to how I wanted the EP to look so everything truly is like right. straight from me that's all of the stuff that I really worked super hard on and so I think it's by far the most special um, music that I've put out just because I've just put so much right. blood sweat and tears in it right right <laughs> now where can fans find you CaitlinBaker.com um, is where all of my 
Instagram, you know, Twitter, all the right. good stuff is on there. Instagram's my favorite. I like you to know, I've post been getting pictures of my dog. <laughs> I've been getting that a lot. Like, I post pictures of my dog too. What's your dog's name? Sadie. Sadie. Mm -hmm. I have a latte. A lot. And, a, oh. and a dancer and a Bella and a buddy and a Mountie. <laughs> we have five dogs. Oh. But yeah, Latte is my girl. She's yeah. my girl. And yeah, I love I love that. I love that you can get personal with your fans. Exactly. That's the coolest thing about I mean, all social media is great, but I think Instagram is so cool because you can post all these yes. pictures of your dog or your niece, mm -hmm. whatever is special to you, yes. you know random sign on the road whatever exactly. <laughs> all right guys well you heard her so check her out on social media visit her website and make sure you get your copy of blackbird today until next time we'll see you soon